So let's start by capturing this image. We'll say const logo is equal to document dot query selector we'll capture by the uh, the tag and then let's create a function that pops in the uh, the logo so function pop in let's create a listener that calls this function so let's just say window dot add event listener we'll listen for key up and we'll take the event and when I press the a key will pop in so if event dot key is equal to a and we'll call the pop in. Let's just do a pop out function as well while we're at it. Pop out. And when I press the, let's say D key, we'll pop out. R D, and we'll pop out. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the image to a scale of zero. So go into the CSS, and where should I put it? Where the transform is. So scale. Let's start at zero. Save, there we go. So when I press the pop in button, we'll do a logo.style.transition duration. Let's do 0 0.53, let's say three seconds to start. We'll see what that looks like. Then we'll do logo.style.transform is equal to, and we need to save this transform right here. This translate or else the image is going to go fl flying off the screen so we'll say it's equal to translate negative 50 negative 50 there we go and we'll scale it to 1.2 and we'll copy this and so this duration right here this animation of it scaling up to 1.2 it's going to last three or 0 0.3 seconds which is 300 milliseconds so we need to set a timer so that once we have the 0 0.3 or the 300 milliseconds go off, we're going to shrink the image back to scale one. So we just copy this, paste that there, and scale will be one. And the duration for this guy, let's say faster. So 0 0.1, actually 0 point, yeah, 0 0.1, we'll see what it looks like. All right, so let's go to the page and press A. That's okay. Let's do a larger uh, initial inflating, 1.5. Press A, and it's a bit too slow on this one. Let's do 0 0.0, you know, 0.07. Press A. Still a bit too slow on this one. Let's do 0 0.2. Eh, still a bit too slow. We need to. Modify this 200. All right, looks a bit better. All right, so that's the pop in. For the uh, the pop out, we'll just reverse the logic. So we copy all this, paste that here. And so let's uh, expand it to 1.5 initially. And then we'll just expand or shrink it down to zero. Same timings. Yeah, whatever, same timings. Let's see what it looks like. So I press A, we pop in. I press D, we pop out. A, D, A, and then D. So that's a very simple way to uh, to pop in and pop out uh, images. You could have easily done this in CSS using a keyframe, something like a animation, and then you'd say whatever, and then you'd say uh, at keyframes, and then your whatever, and then you just bake in from zero, zero percent to, and then I don't know, maybe like fifty or eighty percent and then to 100% would be your scale one. You could easily do this in CSS, but doing these animations in JavaScript gives you more uh, more power, more control, because we can use, uh, um, I wanna say high level math, but more complicated math to, uh, to manipulate these values here. So anyways, you can do it in CSS, or you can do it in JavaScript. If you do it in JavaScript, you have more control over how your things animate. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed.